Hello guys, welcome back to another Rindout Studio tutorial. In the last episode, we already learned about how to add a fragment through XML file. In this video, here I am going to demonstrate how to add a fragment at the runtime. So we can start with a new Android Studio project. So create a new Android Studio project. Specify the application name. Here I name it as fragment runtime example. I select empty activity. So here the project is created. So if you want to add a fragment at the runtime, the first thing you need to do is to you have to specify a container for the fragment on the layout file. So this is the layout for the main activity. So now here I am going to add a container for the fragment on the activity main.xml. So here is a text view is available. We can simply remove that one. So change this one into blueprint. Okay, now here I am going to add a container for the fragment. So here I am going to add a frame layout as a container. So before going to add the frame layout, here I am going to modify the default margin into 16 dp. Now we can add the frame layout. So drag a frame layout, put it here. And now specify the constraints for the frame layout. We need a constraint at the top. Uh, we need a constraint at the left and right side. Sorry for that. Also, we need a constraint at the bottom side. Okay, uh, now change the layout width into match constraint. Uh, layout height also change that one into match constraint. Now here I am going to modify the ID of the frame layout. I name it as fragment container. So the frame layout is the container for the fragment in activity main.xml. Okay. So now we can modify this one into design. So here we have a frame layout that is the container for the fragment inside activity main.xml. So now here I am going to add three separate fragments into this project. So for identify these fragments here I am going to add some color resources. So for adding color resources you can expand a resource folder, open values folder. And there is a file called colors.xml. You can specify the material design color patterns inside this file so now i'm going to add some color resources i now specify the colors here so here i'm going to add three fragment home fragment first fragment and second fragment so these are the background colors for the fragments so now we can create the fragments so now I simply close the main activity. So it is very easy to create a fragment in Android Studio. So in the last episode, we create a class file and layout file in separate step. But you can create all these components in a single step. So just right click the app folder and select new option and select fragment. Select blank fragment. Specify the fragment name. So our first fragment is home fragment so this is the layout for the home fragment uh, remove these items and click finish now android studio create the fragment for us here is the class file for the fragment that extends fragment and here is a default constructor and here is the lifecycle method on create view and here is the layout for the fragment 
so now we need to add some components to the layout file uh, we can modify the design so change this one into blueprint first here I am going to add a text to view I think this is not a constraint yeah it is a frame layout so we can remove that one uh, modify this one into design go to the XML file so here I'm going to modify the root element into a constrained layout so now I modify the root element into constrained layout now go to design now change this one into blueprint now we can add the text so now I'm going to add a text to view. Now we can specify the constraint for the text to view. Change the margin at the top into 24 dp, or 32 dp. Make the text to bold, <coughs> align at the center. Now change the text to size into 24. SP. Now modify the text. This is home fragment. Okay. So now here I'm going to add a button to this fragment. So select widgets, drag a button, and put it here. Now specify the constraint for the button. At the bottom, I'm going to change margin into 32. It's not enough. I'm going to change 60 dp. Okay. So now here I've changed the ID of the button into B1. Now I'm going to change the label on the button. Open first fragment. okay so this is our layout for the home fragment so now we can view the design so this is the design for the home fragment and one more thing we can modify we can change the background color of the fragment so on the constrained layout you can simply add some attribute called the background now change the now select the color from the color.xml here it is home fragment okay this is the design for the home fragment now here I am going to create another fragment select fragment blank fragment this is the first fragment and here is the layout no need this factory methods and interface callbacks and click finish so here we create another fragment called the first fragment this is the layout for the first fragment so here I go to the home fragment layout copy the layout resources go back to the first fragment paste it here so this is the layout for the first fragment change text into first fragment so this is the button change the id of the button into b2 <coughs> and here is the class file for the first fragment okay so now we need one more fragment so create another fragment uh, it's a blank fragment I name it as second fragment here is the layout for the second fragment so in this fragment there is no need of a button
change the text into second fragment okay so now we need to modify the background color for this fragment this is second fragment uh, this is second fragment color so we forget to modify the color on the first fragment uh, this is first fragment color okay so now in this application we have one activity that is the main activity inside main activity we add a container for the fragment that is a frame layout after that we create three separate fragment home fragment first fragment and second fragment now we need to add this fragment at the runtime we need to add some fragment we need to replace some fragment at the runtime okay so if you add a fragment at the runtime you have to add the initial fragment from the activity on create method so now here I am going to add the first fragment from the activity on create method. So here I close all these files. Now open main activity. So inside main activity here I am going to create some variable. Uh, I need some variables for fragment manager. Okay, so now here I'm going to add the initial fragment from the on create method of the activity. So before going to add the fragment here, we need to check some condition. Uh, find the view by id. R dot id dot fragment container. So here we check whether the container is available or not is not equal to null that is our condition so if the container is available we can add the fragment to the layout so here we need to check one more condition if saved instance state is not equal to null in that case simply return that means the activity is resumed that means the fragment is already added so if you forget to add this condition that will lead to overlapping your fragments okay so now we can add the fragment so for add a fragment first you have to get an object of fragment manager so we can initialize that object so here i'm going to initialize that object outside of this loop fragment manager you can call this method get support fragment manager now by using that method by using that object you have to create an object of fragment transaction so here i create an object of fragment transaction so fragment manager dot you can call this method begin transaction now we can add the first fragment using this fragment transaction object so fragment transaction you can call this method called add So the first parameter is the container of the fragment here it is fragment container now the second parameter is the object of the fragment so here we need to create an object of fragment so we have to add the on fragment that is our initial fragment so create an object of on fragment now we need to add the fragment here and there is final parameter is there it is a tag you can simply personal for it so now we specify the fragment transaction and finally you have it to commit the transaction so by using the fragment transaction object you have to call a method called the commit here we simply add the first fragment to the main activity so now we can test it so here the virtual device is ready now here i'm going to run the application run it select that virtual device
So here the application available on this virtual device. So here we successfully add the initial fragment to the activity main.xml. So now we need to handle this button click. So when user click the button, we have to display, we have to replace the home fragment with the first fragment. So in first fragment also there is a button. So when user click the button on the first fragment, we have to replace first fragment with the second fragment. Okay, so now we can open first fragment class. So here we place the button on the home fragment. So open home fragment class. So here instead of return this, first here I am going to create some view class object. And finally return that view from here. So here we need some variables for button. Now we can initialize that button variable. So you can initialize the button using this view object. Our first button is B1. Now create a click listener for the button. So button dot set on click listener. So from this method, uh, we can replace the first home fragment with the first fragment. So here uh, we need the fragment manager object. So we can call the main activity dot fragment manager dot begin transaction. So here instead of add method, you have to call the replace method. So the first parameter is the container for the fragment. So here the container is the fragment container. Now the second parameter is the object of the fragment. So here specify the object of fragment. Here it is first fragment. And finally set tag. You can simply pass null for it. And finally you can commit the transaction. So now we can test it. So run the application again. So now here I am I'm going to click the button on the home fragment. So it will open first fragment. So now we have a button on the first fragment. So now we need to handle the click events of the first fragment. So open first fragment. Again the same thing. I copy these statements. Put it here. Uh, create some object of view class here. From here we need to return that view class, that view object. Now we need to create some variables for button. And here the ID of the button do button 2. And here we need to modify the fragment object. Here it is second fragment. So now we can test our application. So run it. So this is the home fragment. So if I click the button on the home fragment, it will open first fragment. So here we replace home fragment with the first fragment. So if I click the button on first fragment, it will replace first fragment with the second fragment. So this is how we add fragment at the runtime. I hope you understand all these concepts. For getting more Android tutorial updates, please subscribe this channel now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.